Tarofa, my name is Marilyn Tanwasa and I hail from the beautiful village of Vailua and I am 14 years of age. We've learned a lot of good things from this program and it has helped me with the way how I manage peer pressure and drugs. They've prevent ways to stay away from peer pressure and drugs. The most important thing I've learned is think smart before you start. Pango Pango is a very small island in the middle of nowhere. But it's a very beautiful place. It's majestic. Uh, the mountains, the greenery here, you cannot really compare it to a lot of other Pacific Island nations. The people are very humble people. Uh, they're friendly. You will find that it would be very easy for you to go throughout the island and meet people and talk with them. They're very religious people. You will find we have lots of churches throughout the islands. I think post-tsunami, our department in particular, we had a very significant role to play. We have a lot of uh, behavioral health issues and substance abuse issues that we're trying to address. Uh, working with SAMHSA, we we're able to really build up a message of prevention and also work towards treatment. One of the unique things about the SPIFSIG project is it actually takes the responsibilities of getting the project out into the communities in the hands of the community members. We have 11 counties in American Samoa and we've been able to, to mobilize and set up 12 community coalitions. Staff for the project receives initial training but then they would turn around and train community members. In our culture, adults are always the one making decisions, and children really don't have a lot of say. And that's one thing that the project has brought to each of these communities, to have the children be able to share because when they have problems, they're taught to bottle that in and not really express that and ask someone else for assistance. <laughs> I believe that this department is making huge strides towards uh, our prevention work, and we have had so much community support. They're ready to listen to the message because they see the effects on our families and our children. What's been wonderful to see is that we actually have the community members buy into the project. From the young folks to the older, from leaders to, to church pastors. The more programs we pull out, we believe that's uh, better for us to take them away from involving some outside activities that lead them into troubles. Because we realize the need to really get the message to the young folks um, to really understand that prevention is really key uh, to a healthy and successful uh, life going forward for them.